This is the Happy Days video tutorial for the passport cover. It has a cam snap fastener to hold it into place. And it opens up and it fits perfectly your passport, which you slide on one side and the cover the other side. And then you fasten it back up. And this is how we make it. You'll need to cut out a piece for the lining, a piece for the outer, two pieces for the side pockets and a tab. I've used iron-on interfacing. I think it gives a much better finish and I've ironed it onto the front, onto the two pockets and onto the tab. We'll start by making the pockets. Take your pocket fabric and place it right sides down and fold it in half and take it over to your iron and press. Once you've pressed it, we're going to take it over to the sew machine and we're going to sew a nice top stitch along the folded edge. You could use your fancy stitch if you wanted to now. I've top stitched along the folded end. This is still open at the bottom, which is correct. And I've repeated for the other one. And we're going to put that to one side while we work on the tab. Place your tab fabric right sides down. If this was a uh, pattern fabric, this would be the pattern. Place it right sides down and then fold it in half right sides together, line up all the sides and pop some clips in. I've popped some clips in and now I'm going to take it over to the sew machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew all the way down there to the bottom to the open, the open part and again from the folded edge all the way down to the bottom and stop. I've sewn along both sides. I've also clipped each of the corners. This will give us a much better finish when we turn it. And now I'm going to turn it through the bottom. I've turned it the right way and I've pressed it. And now we're going to put that to one side. We're now going to start putting it all together. Take your lining piece and place it wrong sides down so you're looking at the pretty side and then take your pockets that you made earlier and place on top. This is the raw edge of your pocket and this is your folded bit where you top stitched it and do the same for the other one. And then some clips around it. I've lined up all the edges and I've popped some clips in and now I'm going to take it over to the sew machine and I'm going to tack quite close to the edge. You won't see these stitches in the final make. This is just to keep everything in place. So I'm going to tack quite close along there and stop, along the edge and stop and across the top and I'm going to do the same for this one. I've tacked the pockets on and now I'm going to take the front piece and place right sides together on top. I need to find the centre and to find the centre just fold your fabric in half, finger press it, open out and make a mark on the crease. I've marked the centre and now I'm taking the tab that we made earlier and I'm folding it in half, finger pressing it so I've got a nice crease. Open it out and then place the crease against that line that you've just drawn. Lay it 
alongside the raw edge. Then take your pen and then draw a line there at the end of the tab. And again, the top of the tab. And this will be our sewing line. Now I've marked my sewing lines. I'm going to clip all the way around. I've clipped all the way around and now I'm going to take it out of the sewing machine and starting at that first sewing line I'm going to start there and sew up to the corner and stop all across and stop down the other side and stop all along the bottom and stop and then back up to that sewing line I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance now if you are using directional fabric, make sure that this is the bottom of your passport. I've sewn all the way around. And I've clipped each of the four corners to give a better finish when we turn it. And now I'm going to turn it the right way through the gap we left for the tab. I've turned it the right way and I've pressed it and now I'm going to insert the tab. Take the tab that we made earlier and the gap that we left at the side and place your tab inside. And make sure that it's folded over that side correctly and that side correctly. And when you're happy with exactly the right place, get some pins and pin into place. I'll pin the tab into place and I've checked that that's the same length both sides. If you feel more confident you could tack this into place before you take it to the sewing machine it's completely up to you. But the next stage is to start there and sew the tab into place. I've sewn my tab in and now I'm going to put my cam snap on to finish the project. I've added a cam snap and that's your passport cover all finished.